Hello people, I hope you all are doing fine. My name is Pratik and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, DJI Osmo Mobile 5. It's a mobile gimbal. Uh, but wait, I've already done a video on that, right? That was the unboxing video. And in today's video, I'm going to give my opinion about the usage, about the features of, uh, you know, DJI Osmo Mobile 5. Uh, is it really worth it to spend some money on this mobile gimbal? So basically, it's going to be a review video. And I have been using this gimbal from few days now. And I have been taking, uh, you know, my B-roll shots for some other products with, uh, with the help of this gimbal. So is it really worth it? We will be, uh, you know, seeing that in today's video. So do watch the video till end if you're planning to buy a mobile gimbal. So without wasting a time we'll just start the video man so this is the mobile gimbal as you have already seen uh, my unboxing video if not uh, then you will find the link in the description or on the i button so you can just go and check the you know unboxing experience of this gimbal and i have also given some uh, extra information in that video regarding the modes and what all uh, basic features it has so you can watch that video and then you can continue this video as well so i have been using this uh, gimbal from few days now as i said earlier so what is my uh, you know initial experience with this gimbal so talking about the looks it is compact it is uh, very uh, you know uh, compact in design it is uh, very lightweight it is a foldable design so you know i didn't face any issue uh, usually while carrying it with me and uh, as it has a magnetic back so as you can see it has a magnetic back so actually this uh, really uh, was very helpful because whenever i used to do shoot or something or even i get a call uh, during a shoot or during uh, using this gimbal so you know i uh, don't have to do that whole task that uh, you know uh, remove the clamp then take out the mobile and then use your mobile so initially like i was like just taking it out and i used to use my mobile with back so yeah this is a very handy thing and see how quickly it attaches to the gimbal and the magnet is strong uh, so there is no issue you uh, there won't be any problem of you know even if your phone is heavy it will handle it easily about the build quality the build quality is pretty damn good and it is very stable i must say uh, it is uh, hard plastic but yes the build is very sturdy the build is very good so i didn't face any quality issues till now uh, the motors are working fine i didn't face any issue with the motors also uh, usually i didn't find any uh, you know jerks in the motor as it has it is a three axis gimbal so like this is the first rotation this is the second rotation and the third one is this one so each motor was smooth there was no jerks in the motor so yes that experience was good and due to the foldable design i really you know find it very easy to use coming to its uh, modes i've already talked about the modes in my previous video so i am not going to waste time on that so we'll uh, quickly go to the review section now like uh, what was the shooting experience how uh, are the features in the application which application you basically need to use with this gimbal uh, talking about the application we need to use dji memo you, you will find it on a play store or uh, on the app store as well or uh, even if you don't find it on play store or app store you can just scan uh, the barcode at the back of the box and you are good to go with the application and uh, connecting this gimbal to the application is also very easy you just have to turn on your bluetooth and you are good to go so nothing much about uh, the application over there uh, when you start using the application you will find many things over there like you have hyperlapse you have time lapse uh, you get an option of uh, dyno zoom so these are basic features in which you can uh, you know shoot videos in different types and i think that is the pretty good thing about the application that you know don't you don't have to do anything you just have to select the mode and you just have to press record and everything will be done so the quality of uh, the sh the shoot quality basically the video quality which we get from the application is also pretty good uh, it has a 4k support in that 4k 30 and 4k 60 so uh, all the footages you will be seeing in this video will be uh, uh, all videos are shot on 4k except uh, i guess hyperlapse has 1080p uh, whenever you choose that mode so that's it uh, all other footages are in 4k uh, talking about uh, the uh, shoot quality now let's 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 start with the video uh, let's how uh, let's see how the video quality is so talking about uh, you know uh, firstly about the stabilization which is main uh, part of this gimbal 
stability is good as compared to you know your inbuilt mobile stabilization i must say i have noticed it very clearly uh, during the shooting or during the test uh, uh, about the stabilization uh, i turned off uh, stabilization which is in inbuilt stabilization in the phones so that uh, some people who are using uh, you know uh, mobiles they don't have stabilization to get a clear idea about the video so i just shot on uh, all the videos taken from handheld shots are no stabilization in the mobile basically so stabilization was off in the mobile but and all handheld shots were purely handheld there was no stabilization in that and talking about the stabilization as you can see in the video why i am i was shooting with gimbal and i was getting pretty good stabilization over there you can see uh, i was walking very normally and the footage uh, the footage is basically not that much shaky and it is very good in quality so you can uh, achieve great quality stabilization from this gimbal uh, whereas as you can see i am doing an handheld shot so there is a kind of uh, there is a bit uh, you know instability in the video so it might make some you know uh, bad experience while watching the video so yes handheld shots can never be compared to a gimbal shot uh, the stabilization is good i have also done the uh, running test i have uh, you know handheld run shot as well as i have done the running shot in gimbal as well so you might be seeing that both on the screens right now so this is how it went when uh, with the handheld shot and with the gimbal shot now talking about the tilt and pan movement uh, of this gimbal in this also i have done a hand uh, held shot as well as the gimbal shot and you can see the difference uh, even i have tried to you know uh, hand uh, the shot which i have taken for with my hand i tried actually tried to stabilize my hand and i was you know shooting the videos very slowly so there won't be any issue so you can see the difference between the handheld shot and the gimbal shot for tilt and pan movement now let's talk about the other feature of this gimbal so basically this gimbal comes with active 4.0 track and as you can see in the video uh, it is quite simple you just have to select video option over there and once the video option is on you just have to uh, select an area where which you want to track or you want to just select an object which, uh, which you want to track basically and then everything is done is by gimbal you don't have to do anything you just have to press record and whenever you move in any direction the gimbal will start following you and as you can see in the video i was walking uh, left and right so the gimbal was following me very accurately i was almost in center in each frame even i tried uh, running for out of the frame but even uh, at that uh, you know uh, that particular moment the gimbal tracked me very quickly there was no issue and uh, i didn't face any issue where you know the gimbal lost the track i was always in the frame and i didn't face any issue in active 4.0 track so that was a very good experience for me at that time so even when i'm alone at shoot uh, even i when i want to shoot a pan shot i don't have to depend on someone i can just set my gimbal i can just track myself and i'm good to go so active track 4.0 was very great now talking about its other features as i've told you earlier it has hyperlapse time lapse and dyno zoom so the following videos you will be seeing uh, is all about the hyperlapse time lapse and dyno zoom so do watch that video I hope you like that hyperlapse shot and time lapse as well and as uh, you saw how the other uh, dyno zoom uh, function works how the features are it is very simple you just, in dyno zoom you just have to select a person and you have to select the option move out or move in and you are good to go so everything is given in the application itself you uh, even if you don't know anything how to shoot the application will guide you accurately and you you can just select the feature or just mode you want and you can just start shooting so i find application very easy to use there was no problem in the application as well uh, the only thing i uh, was extra or I, I would say that uh, was more different than other applications or other uh, gimbal applications was the story option i find it very amazing basically because uh, you get different types of templates in there are multiple templates in story option and you can select the story as per your requirement and when you shoot start, when you like uh, tap on start uh, it will guide you how to take a shot for how many seconds each particular shot will be and you don't have to do anything you just have to shoot it and if you don't like it you can take uh, you can do retake of that particular 
uh, shot itself uh, at that time only so yeah that was a great option you just have to shoot a video in parts and at the end when you click on preview uh, it will edit automatically so you don't have to edit also the ai the integrated ai in the application will edit the video for you and it will create a whole uh, the video which you have shot in parts it will create a good quality uh, video at that time and as you can see i have created one and i didn't find any issue uh, while shooting in parts also the application guided me so well and this was a one take shot i know i don't have to take multiple shots so no yeah, this shot was not great or something the shots were great uh, it just took me five minutes to do the shooting and the video is already created i don't have to edit my video i don't have to put music or something you can do it on manually but that is a good option if someone wants a quick video uh, this is a good option you can select multiple templates from that and you you can just use as per your requirements that's it that's a that story option i loved it uh, i have also uh, uh, i also checked out basically the panorama mode in this one and it was awesome see uh, like you are seeing on the screen now I was uh, just selecting the option and the uh, gimbal used to take or, or the gimbal will take nine photos basically and it will stitch each and every photo and at the end it will create one single photo and you won't find any stitches in the photo like the photo quality is so good you won't find that there are nine multiple photos in one single photo it was very awesome the panorama shot from this gimbal is great i must say you uh, you're see, uh, already seeing on the screen how the outcome is and how the video quality is how the image quality is uh, but there is basically uh, nothing to complain about this gimbal for now the only thing which concerns me is uh, its price point like uh, it is not a budget uh, friendly uh, gimbal uh, even if it is compact uh, it is uh, you know it has multiple features it has an extension rod i forgot to mention uh, it has an extension rod and extension rod also can help you in many ways like i have to take some higher shots uh, i'm not able to you know reach at that particular point so i i don't have to do anything i just you know extend the rod and i'm good to go so it is also a very handful uh, or a very handy feature and yes it is a very good quality gimbal i would say i am pretty much uh, happy with the gimbal till now uh, i didn't find any issue in the motor i didn't find uh, any issue in the application application was smooth and i was able to achieve uh, good quality footage uh, from the application and from the gimbal i love the stabilization and yes i'm not doing any handheld shots anymore i will be using gimbal only i have been using gimbal because i already have a small gimbal uh, which is hohem i steady x uh, which is not that costly uh, now talking about the price i forgot to mention the price in my last video i guess uh, this particular version comes around 14000 rupees on amazon uh, and the same version in grey color uh, it comes in 16000 i don't know why there is so price difference just because of the color change or something but yes this particular uh, color which is sunset white it will cost you around 14000 on amazon so links will be in the description if you want to purchase this gimbal you can just click on the link in the description and you can buy i know it is not that budget friendly but considering what this gimbal offers you i think 14000 is a very reasonable price for this one and with the amount of feature it come like you get a magnetic clamp with this one even if you get a call you know you don't have to do that all process like to just remove from the clamp you just you can just pull your phone out and you're good to go so this one is a very handy feature it has an extension rod everything is great you have uh, different modes uh, you have lock mode follow mode everything you can uh, shoot in portrait as well as in landscape application is good you get plenty of option in the application so for me if you are you, if you don't have any problem with that 14000 budget i would definitely recommend you to buy this gimbal if you are doing some shootings if you are you know excited for uh, you are doing your own stuff you shoot videos i think this one is the best option for you if price is not a big matter up, uh, for you so yes uh, that's pretty much it for today's video it's a go from me for this gimbal that's for sure and that's it uh, i hope you like the video if you do like the video then hit that thumbs up and if you have any question regarding this gimbal or anything you can just write it down in the comment section i will try to answer all the questions and that's it i will see you all in the next one thank you